Hey everybody, Lynette, prepping on a budget. Um, last night I watched uh, Paula's video, uh, Alan2045. Her video about making fire starters with crayons, she had seen it somewhere else. Honestly, I had not seen that yet. So I decided to try to do some today uh, using what Paula shows in her video how to do. And basically all it is, egg crates, these are the like cardboard ones. It's got dryer lint stuck down in the little where the eggs usually go. And instead of using crayons, because I don't have any crayons available, I took a candle and I'm currently melting it down. I just have it on the stove top, low heat. And it's melting down nicely. So I'm going to let this get or finish melting. And then I'm going to pour it on top of these. Let them set, you know, firm up, and then um, try to start a fire with it. My intent on using these is going to be to start fires in our wood heater instead of um, fire logs and stuff like that. I, for some reason, I don't know, my husband laughs at me, but I'm just having a heck of a time getting a fire started. Once I get it started, it's good, but it's just that starting process. So after these set up, I'm going to cut them. And then I'm going to try to use like two just to start a fire. So we'll see how it works out. All right. So the, the candle melted down perfectly. You can see it there. I am. That's the wick that is down there at the bottom. But I'm not going to get you the trouble to try to get it out. So now I'm simply going to pour it across my egg crate that has the dryer lint in it. And then I'm going to take it and um, let it set up. Well, I hate to be doubting Tom here, or whatever that doubting Dan, or doubting whatever that saying was we all learned a long time ago. But I'm not sure this is actually going to happen. I did put the wax into a glass measuring cup, which I'm going to have to get out of here real quick before it cools and hardens on the uh, side of the glass. But it just doesn't quite look like Paula's did when she did it with the crayons. So maybe candle wax isn't the thing to use, but nothing nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> so I'm going to let it set up. Uh, one benefit of melting down the candle is that the house smells really good right now. <laughs> but I will check back later after these um, settle down. And As I was pouring it in there, I noticed <clears throat> I was hearing it sizzle. I don't know if you can see or not. Cause I'm still fighting that dark kitchen thing. You can see where the where the uh, wax just kind of went all the way through the egg crate. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. Maybe again, I just don't know. So uh, I'll let them set up and then check back. All right. So um, everything is now solid. I cut two of the egg crate uh, things off because my purpose of doing this. Is to just simply use it as a fire starter, you know, aka a fire lock in the um, wood insert. I just want to see if it's going to burn hot enough and long enough to actually light the kindling and then actually light um, the logs that are in there. It's hard as a rock. You can see on the bottom that the candle wax did absorb and the lint. Is covered with it so let's take it outside and see if it works so here's what I'm going to use for this experiment two wads of newspaper my little egg crate fire starter and some twigs out of the yard I'm gonna put it into this metal bucket um, the one thing I'm curious about is is the wax gonna make a waxy mess in my wood stove because I do not want that to happen but I also want to make sure that this produces enough heat which I'm sure it will to light the paper, but I want to make sure that it continues with the heat enough to, to light the um, kindling. So there's the egg crate in the bottom. Paper is going to go on top, and I'm going to stick the twigs in there. I'm sure you cannot see this part. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to light this with a Bic lighter. So I lit the very edge of the egg carton, and of course everything's catching on fire now. 
And I'm going to see how long it burns and, again, if it's hot enough to um, cause my kindling to catch on fire. So, within two minutes, the paper is pretty much burned down. And if you look at the very middle of your screen right there, you'll see that the egg crate is what is still holding the fire. Plus, the kindling has caught on fire. Which means with this much heat going on and this much fire being produced, I should be able to use these things as fire starters easily. <laughs> so I'll be interested yet to find out if it leaves a waxy mess in the bottom, but that's going to take a bit to figure out. So I'm going to let this burn down and we will be back. Alright, so seven minutes later, the kindling did catch fire. It has now burned down and you can still see in the very middle of the screen where the egg crate is still burning. So yes, this will be an awesome fire starter for my purposes. I'll check tomorrow, but I don't see any waxy mess laying around anywhere, so that's even better. So time to put this fire out. Thanks for watching. And let me add uh, the one last comment as I am dousing this with water. Um, kids, please don't try this at home. This bucket got extremely hot, enough to burn you severely. And although it was in a contained environment, anything could have happened. So let your parents try experiments like this. Um, and just don't do it. <laughs> it worked fine. Take my word for it. Take everybody else's word for it. And do not try it without your parents' supervision. Thanks, everyone.